This is Dennis from Hot Rod Magazine, and I'm here at the 2011 Hot Rod Power Tour with none other than Mario Andretti. How are you doing today? Great, Dennis. How are you? I'm, I'm enjoying all of this. Now, we polled 30,000 readers of Hot Rod Magazine, and they had, had to ask you some questions. And one of those questions was the infamous speeding ticket. Have you ever gotten a speeding ticket and had an officer say, who do you think you are, Mario Andretti? Actually, I did in Santa Monica. That's started smiling, you know, and, and the officer actually got mad. And then, of course, I had to produce my ID. And uh, I think we left amicably. Well, so many people out there, you know, love open wheel racing. In the current IndyCar, if, if you had the reins of the current series, what would you do with it? Well, but honestly, a lot of good things that uh, I would like to see are actually going to happen next year. Uh, Multi-engine situation, get away from uh, the spec series syndrome, if you will. And then, of course, a uh, new chassis where they're going to be allowed to have their own personal aero package, which, uh, in fact, they're going to personalize the cars, you know, to the teams that wish to do so. So that's all a big plus. Now, one of the other questions from our, our readers was uh, a little bit about the Global Rally. And we had about 150 different requests for you to be a co-pilot. Uh, are you free? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah, just get me in. <laughs> and I also want to know about this beautiful Camaro behind us. Now, I believe it's uh, something for the veterans. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about this car. I did a trip uh, to the Middle East, visiting several bases, including Iraq and, uh, and of course, hospitals. And, uh, and when I came back, I was chatting about it to the Magnaflow folks that I worked with very closely. And, uh, and they said, well, let's do something for the Wounded Warriors, that organization. So they decided to build this special Camaro, which is totally awesome. And then uh, auction it off at the Barrett Jackson later on this year. And all the proceeds will go to the Wounded Warriors organization. And in fact, at Indianapolis this year, my passenger at the start of the race, if anybody watched you know, on the two-seater car, was a real hero that uh, obviously was uh, lost both legs in, uh, in Afghanistan. And I asked him, I said, how about the Wounded Warriors organization? So they're fabulous people. And he says, I do quite a bit of work, try to raise funds for them as well. So I feel very good about it. And I want to thank Magnaflow for actually taking the lead on this. It's a real feel good situation for people that definitely deserve some help. And I had a chance to talk to him. Well, that was about the best ride, the best seat in the house. And I know when you took off out of the pits, you took off uh, not so gingerly. Oh, no, you got to do a burnout. Of course, you know, it's all flat out, you know, and uh, that's why I enjoy. And that's why I think we give it a pretty decent ride. One last question I do want to ask you. In all of the things that you've done in motorsports, NASCAR, Indy, whatever it is, what is your favorite era of the sport? Oh, probably... 70s and 80s for sure for me um, it was just uh, the 70s was uh, a lot of development the aerodynamics aspect of the cars and uh, the 80s uh, also with the engine situation turbocharged engines and all that this is when we had you know engines in the 80s and uh, 900 thousand horsepower so for me it was a lot of fun you know what, you're an icon, you're, you're one of the, the, the most known people in the industry. We want to thank you for spending some time with Hot Rod Magazine. Well, I love it. Thank you.